Hello and welcome to um, a vi another video. Um, today I'll, this is actually going to be a double upload, which I really do, um, because YouTube algorithm and all that. So basically we're in my old survival world I used to do in survival, but then um, I created a new survival world, so I just mess around in this world a bit. Um, in creative sometimes. Um, so I wanted to make a turtle farm, so first I decided to make a uh, check to see if they could breed outside the beach biome. So, um, I just need to hold up here because it was a bit easier than terraforming the area. Um, and, oh, yeah, they can. I put two turtles in here um, and I fed them. And apparently, yeah, they can breed outside of a beach biome. Um, I sat here for a little while and they didn't lay any eggs, but yeah, they can breed outside the beach biome, so... Um, you know, um, you can put this wherever you want, you can do this wherever you want, basically. Um, beach biome, not a beach biome. Um, but I think, um, don't quote me on this exactly because I did spawn these two in with spawn eggs because I couldn't be bothered to get them up here without, um, you know, just by luring them with uh, seaweed uh, or sea grass or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, so yeah, apparently they do. I didn't um, see them breed, but uh, yeah, there's eggs here. I didn't put them down. Um, so apparently they do breed outside of a beach biome. Um, uh, it's probably going to be like slow or something than if you were in the beach biome. Um, but yeah. Um, they can breed outside beach biomes, they will lay eggs if they've got sand around them. Um, huh. Anyway, um, well this completely ruins like the rest of the video that I was going to do because um, if you come over here, I was going to say um, what I did because I thought that didn't work outside the beach biome is I um, had two sea turtles that were down here breed uh, one of them laid eggs here so I made pulled up here and I put a glass block there and then I built a, uh, and then I put a sand block on top of that glass block and then I built around it added some water, put some turtles in here, bred them and they made it an egg um, and that happened a lot faster than over here so what I'm thinking is that maybe these guys will breed outside of a beach biome. Um, and yes, I do have a texture pack on because I do love this texture pack. And um, they will breed outside a beach biome, but um, you know, it might be a lot slower because it, they might just say, oh, well, we'd rather do this in a beach biome, lay our eggs in a beach biome. Um, but we can't really get to one. So, maybe if they can't get to one, they'll just lay their eggs wherever. Um, but I have also heard that um, turtles, just like in real life, will go back to the beach biome where they where their eggs hatched, or where they originally spawned, um, uh, to do that. So, you might... So, what I'm thinking is, you find a random beach biome that you really don't care about. You know, it could be near your base, could be far away from your base. So, like, say my unfinished base is over there. Um, I really don't care about this beach too much. So, I would, like, build it here. I would just, like, flatten an area out. So, like, let's just get an area around here. Uh, get some grass. And then just like get some glass. So I've already got eggs here, so what I would do is I would get some glass. And I'll just like corner this area off with glass. And maybe even try and get some sea turtles in here, so um oh thank you, conduit, for the night vision. Ah, so like you, um, is there any other turtles around here? Turtles? Ah, turtle. And have them to breed and hopefully they'll come up here and go into the right area. 
and just like, like I said, corner this bit off. I don't know where they went. Oh, there's one of them. I think you could actually just get them to follow you just by holding sea glass. Um, but yeah, just corner an area off. So let's just do this. And you're going to want to do this fairly fast, um, so the eggs don't hatch and then the babies just swim away. I'm just going to fill that in. And then... Oh, chicken got in the, the area with the eggs. Yes, chicken, incubate those eggs. Even though they're not chicken eggs. I wouldn't worry too much about doing the land first. I would worry more about doing the water first. Um, because um, I think they're more likely to just like swim out into the ocean and go onto the land. Just fill this in. There we go. And just close this off. Actually, it looks kind of cool. And if you look down here, yeah, I like that. Anyway, so um, you could have multiple ways of getting in and out of here. You could have a door like here. So one, two, three. Door. Bitch door. Pop it there. There you go. You have a little enclosed area. Get some. Get some sea lanterns. Like, put in the walls. Start hostile mobs from spawning in here. And you, maybe even like one or two underwater if you want. And there you go, you basically have a um, turtle breeding area, um, so yeah, these would hatch, um, so let's just um, get two turtles in the air, so they would hatch, and um, you would presumably have like a seagrass farm, you might want to put some seagrass down here to decorate it a bit, and um, you'd have some seagrass, and then you would be able to breed them. This one's like, hey, can I join the party? It literally wants to come in, okay. Come on, ah. You want, you want some sea grass? Come on then. Yeah, man. Yump up. Oh, there you go. I was thinking that you couldn't jump on land for a second then. There you go. Now you can just go in there. There you go. And you could do that as well. The traditional way of getting um, animals into a farm. And you could probably you you could probably like expand this a bit. I just did as like quick mock up of um, 
Well, it would look like so. But yeah, basically, you'd have the turtles in here. They'd just be in here, happy, swimming around. And, you know, you'd come in, you'd breed them, they'd lay some eggs. And then, um, the reason why you want to do this is um, because when the eggs hatch, um, they drop something. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's S. Yes, here it is scoot, and this scoot can be made uh, into a helmet. I think or shell. 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 Yeah, turtle shell, which you can wear as a helmet. And for just pure like PvP combat, um, it's not as good because I think it's like half a armor bar less. But um, what's special about this, if I um, go into game mode, hmm? oh yeah, they're laying, it's laying egg. There you go. Yeah, and it's laying egg. Look, eggs. Anyway. Uh, if I go into game mode zero, and I probably want to get away from these conduits, so let's find somewhere away from these conduits. I place down. Hello, dolphin. We're gonna go over here because I don't think there's any conduits over here. Can't go over there because there's a um, water temple thing. Oh, a bunch more sea turtles over here. Yeah, the conduit effect is wearing off. And what should happen? Oh no, I guess I have to go back to the surface. So if you go to the surface and then you dive under water you get water breathing for about 10 seconds I think it is and then when the water breathing runs out then um, the bubbles happen uh, so you see I've got bubbles now but I could just go back to the surface and go back on the water and I've got the water breathing again and um, so this is really good if you haven't got conduits yet like you're early on in the game you haven't got conduits and um, but you are near a beach and oh Go away. And, um, you know, your, like, like um, your main base is like an underwater city or something, um, then this would be good, um, because, you know, then you uh, can spend, you can spend a lot longer underwater, because, say you, it's like, you, you plan on making a, um, base under at the bottom of the sea like not like mine but literally like at the bottom like little domes at the bottom um you set up a little base you make a like little um turtle breeder um yeah also turtles and fish like to come into my base a lot and sometimes dolphins um yeah so um as i was saying you'd uh, breed Putting me some tears, you get the scoot, you make the scoot into the helmet, and then the helmet, while being uh, about as good as iron and all that, I think, well, it's the second best, uh, um, just under diamond, with you know, like just yeah, like as you can see, they're just like half an armor bar with some diamond. Um, yeah, you have a helmet that is almost as good as diamond, helps you breathe on the water for longer, and it, um is also um, quite easy to get and you can enchant it with every uh, um, armor enchant possible so you see this diamond helmet which is basically perfect it's got protection, respiration, aqua infinity, unbreaking free and mending all of that can be applied to the turtle shell um, yeah so that's why it's like one of the best uh, um, if not the best helmet in the game, unless you're out, unless you're doing PvP, and then if you're doing PvP and you're nowhere near water, then um, yeah, the turtle helmet. You know, unless you're doing PvP, turtle helmet's best. If you're doing PvP, 
diamond helmet, um, and yeah, and uh, it's even more durable than an iron helmet. Um, so I'll see you guys uh, in uh, tomorrow's video, where will it will actually be another Minecraft video because um, um, it'll, this is just a quick teaser. Me and um, my friend Jack Stringer, um, who is a YouTube handle used to be Stringer Jack, so don't get upset if I said his name because. Um, his current YouTube handle is Rainbow Powered or something like that because he's really into like MLP recently. Um, so yeah, and we'll be doing a um, survival let's play in Bedrock. Um, and who know? Uh, who knows? Um, maybe sometime I'll make a um, turtle reader in this series. And um, it could uh, get us some good armor. Uh, yeah, um, so the, the first episode has been pre-recorded, um, and the, uh, we both recorded our POVs, um, and uh, the, he has um, edited his, um, I haven't edited mine, um, but yeah, um, also I'm thinking about putting this texture pack into the um, survival series with him. Um, so, because I really do like this, and it is full of like video game references. As you can see here, see here, the spawn eggs are Pokeballs. Like, look, it's a Pokeball. Like, you're not telling me that's not a Pokeball because that is a Pokeball. And yeah, it just looks nice. Like, it's it uh, it's first texture pack that I liked that I saw. Like when when I saw some texture packs, I really didn't like them. But this texture pack is just so nice. I actually quite do like it. I do like it quite a bit. Um, so yeah, um, tell me what you th thought of this video. Uh, did you? Uh, n now there's two more. There's two turtles over there now. There was one. Now there's two. They're replicating. Uh, did you like uh, th this video, Mr. Turtles? I don't know. I haven't been around long enough to see it. Anyway, um, oh yeah, you can see the ocean monument over there. There's a torch there. I'll probably put it there. Anyway. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.